Volume 30 Cream Developer BW2 Powder Bowl Frontal Gloves and Clips. Brush the frontal out and brush the baby hairs back. And you're also going to use the clips to clip back the baby hairs because you don't want to bleach those. We're going to flip the frontal around. And then we're going to put the powder into the bowl. And then put as much developer as you need to into the bowl. But make sure the paste is thick. You don't want it soupy because it will go straight through the lace frontal and we don't want that. So now we're going to apply our gloves. And now it's time for the fun part. So you're going to put the bleach all over the lace. It would be very, very light because it would definitely go straight through it. Make sure you get the knots where the baby hairs are. And I'm not going that fast, it's sped up. <laughs> So once that's done, you're going to put your timer on for 15 minutes. Lay it down on a piece of aluminum foil so I can watch it. And keep track of which side is doing good and it's just best in my, in my opinion. And then I fold back the aluminum foil for the remainder of the time. 10 minutes on the clock. 10 seconds, I should say. Timer is done. And now you're going to wash it. You can have the lace up front, like up towards you, or you can have it anyway. It doesn't matter. Once the water touch is not going to be processing anymore. So we're going to use cream of nature, we're going to put it on the lace and we're going to put in the hair. I use a lot and I'm just going to wash it and go crazy. I'm going to sped this up but I really really made sure all of the bleach was not in the lace frontal anymore because you don't want it to over process not one bit. So as you can see I'm like really going through the hair and scrubbing the lace and then you rinse it out. Now I did this twice, so but only showing you one time. Drain all the water out. Yes, now look at that lace frontal. Blade, and it's not even on my head yet. So I'm gonna put it on my foam head. Can you please, 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 excuse me for my foam head. I've had it for a very long time. I know she's busted but she gets the job done. So I'm just going to nail down. You can use nails, whatever you use to lay your wigs down. And look that middle part. Perfect. So I put a middle part in because this is the dark and lovely in jet black, the dye I'm going to use. Shake it until it turns black. Put your gloves back on. Now that it's black, take the little top off. And then you're going to use a little brush, a little one. So now you're just going to go through the hair. You're going to use clips and 
just use a little by a little don't use too much because it will drip onto the frontal and you're going to be truly upset with yourself because honestly once the frontal lace is black you cannot re-bleach it i'm pretty sure you can't so yeah take your time with this i'm moving fast i i actually sped up time i'm not moving fast but yeah this takes a lot of time but beauty takes time right so as i'm doing this every time i go up a layer i have a towel and i wipe my gloves off before i start dyeing the rest of the hair so you're going to use the brush and just going to make sure it goes up in there you don't have to get too close to the front so just close enough so your color can really pop as you want it to so I'm going to be doing this the whole time and I'm going to speed this process up just a tad bit and I'm going to also do the other side and actually I'm really doing this wig for a middle part so that's why I parted it in the middle so I can make sure I don't get anything into the middle of this lace frontal. And now on to the other side. So you're gonna do little by little, just like I did for the other side. And all you need is one bottle. You don't need that much dye. You can also use non-dripping dye, but this is the same dye I used for my bundles. So now I'm just going to check through and make sure that none of the dye is on my lace and nope, it's perfect. So now I'm going to put a little dye in my hand and I'm going to get the baby hairs. So I want all of the hair to be black. I love, love, love jet black hair. <laughs> take it off and do a check again and as you can see nothing I kept the dye on for an hour and now I washed it out just like I did before with the bleach I'm gonna put the conditioner in it and make sure you condition all of the hair get really good in it so I'm gonna part the hair and rub the conditioner into the frontal.
So as I let the conditioner sit for at least about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm just gonna rub through it. And now I didn't wash it out. And I'm gonna pin it back down to my foam head. So I'm going to use a wide tooth comb to comb the hair out and let it air dry just a bit and get ready to pluck it. So I just part it in small sections and it's best to start plucking on the sides first in my opinion because no one's size is really that thick and you're just going to like I count a few times and go to the next section move down a bit you don't want to pluck in the same area for too long because you will have like ball spots everywhere in your front too and you don't want that after that little plucking this is how much hair that came out already. So I'm going to continue to pluck and I tell you this is the most tedious part of the frontal. It stresses me out every time but I guess she has to do it to have it looking right. So I speed this process up as well. I part the hair again and pluck away. That looks ten times better. So I'm going to go to the top now. Because you don't want your frontal to be looking like Elvis. So you're going to make sure it's laying down properly. Take some of the puffiness away. So I'm also going to kind of pluck into my middle part just a little bit. So it can lay down as flat as I want it to. Now in my opinion, I'm not going to pluck as much on this wig. You can pluck as much as you need to, to fit your head and how you want it to. But with the middle part frontal wig, I usually like it to be a little thick still in the front. I don't want it to be overly plucked, but just enough for it to look natural to my fitting. So this is the other side of the wig and I'm just going to do the same thing that I did on the other side. Look at that. That looks so good. And now I'm plucking just a little bit more in the top. Look at all the hair that I plucked out of this frontal. I'm going to customize my baby hairs. I usually don't use baby hairs, but just in case if I need to cover the lace up just a bit. the 
other side as well. Can't forget that side. You can use scissors as well, but I always use razor. So I'm going to put some mousse onto the frontal after I get done plucking it and cutting my baby hairs down just to see how it looks. And then I'll part through it a bit and just look at it and make sure if I need to pluck any more. It looks pretty good to me. I even like to braid it a bit just to see what it'll look like. Don't judge this braid, it's just a quick braid. <laughs> just to see how the lace looks. And this will actually be a cute hairstyle then. Yes, I like that. <laughs> and I'm done. This is the finishing look. I like it full and like I said again, you can do your lace frontal and pluck it however you want. It doesn't have to be as thick as mine but I truly love it to look really thick when it's in the middle part. But you can part it either way, the side, braid it, style it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.